necessarily um, get the pigments to stay. They would always run or smear. And as you can see, I mean, like right here, that, that's, to me that's part of the beauty of it. It's the way that it actually falls like rain. And if you smeared it, <laughs> you literally had to start all over. It was, it was, it took a long time to figure out how to actually get it to apply. And the reason that I, or how I figured it out was cinnamon toast, like cinnamon sugar toast. You know when you apply cinnamon to your toast and you sometimes get the clumps? Well, I'm a cook. And so years ago, I actually figured out that if I banged it against my finger like this, that it would rain out just perfectly. And dry pigments are the exact same uh, material, uh, or like consistency as cinnamon. So I actually was able to get, you know, put that together and that's how I applied it. Yeah. So I did, a, I did a couple series like these. A lot of people think maybe that's a bit too big of a piece of art. So I did smaller ones like that and I have almost the exact same one in a smaller, a smaller shape. They're a lot of fun. I mean, they're a lot of fun to make. And then I think visually, uh, because I try to make people just think you're innocent, you know, unadulterated, like dogs, like it's busy enough that there's the textures there. And I think that that's kind of what, why I like it is because it's not representational of anything. But it makes you think of so many things. In this particular one, I also had, uh, you'll notice it says that there's this button. So I ran out of plastic Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, it's uh, it's enjoyable to see it out there. I mean, I think it's important that people like the work. I mean, like, it's a part of my life.
be good to see you.